Hi, this is Melvin York with Gardening with Daddy Pete. Um, I've had a lot of questions here recently about mulching. When to, uh, where to, what kind, how to, and um, there's really no rule of thumb. There's just some um, good ideas that I could probably give you. Um, there's certain different ways that you mulch. Some things that uh, require a little bit more um, concern than others on plants. Some of those would be uh, your blueberries, your uh, nandinas, um, anything that is a, a high acid plant, or they like the soil more acid with pHs of 4.5 to 5.5, uh, I would uh, recommend doing pine needles uh, or pine bark mulch, or the soil enhancer that we carry, which is aged pine pines, and that works good on those. Uh, you can incorporate some of our uh, composted dairy manure with that to feed those with, and that's something else we want to talk about is feeding as you're mulching. You can actually get two jobs done at once. Um, there's colored mulch on the market today. There's rubber mulch. There's uh, pine bark mulch. There's cypress mulch. There's uh, hardwood mulch, uh, mixed mulches. Um, you can even use, as I spoke about uh, earlier, the pine needles to mulch with. Um, any of those are acceptable in the areas. Um, one thing that I don't really care for is colored mulch. Uh, it will lose its color. Um, most of the time is the certainty of where the wood that's being colored came from. A lot of times they're from ground up pallets, sometimes they're not. Um, but I don't know that there's any company that uh, gives that information out on the bag, so I'm not sure of that. Uh, at Daddy Peach, we do not sell a colored mulch. We only sell organic mulches, which would be your pine bark pines or mini nuggets, uh, which is pine, uh, your hardwood mulch, your soil enhancer, which is your um, pine Pine, pine, bark, pine bark pines. Let me get my tongue untwisted there. Uh, and uh, we do sell a product called a professional landscape mix. Now, that's the mix that I really like to mulch a lot of things with. It's a uh, kind of a blend of hardwood mulch and a little pine mulch mixed together. And then 50% of our compost added with that. And a lot of people say, well, why do you do that? Well, the main reason we do that when you mulch, and especially in the fall, your plants on the upside of the ground, they tend to be look like, you know, okay, the leaves are falling off unless it's an evergreen, so they don't need to be fed. And that's exactly the time they do need to be fed is during the winter months. The mulch, number one, protects the roots from the cold and the harsh from taking on too much water. And number two, with the compost involved in the mulch, we're actually feeding those roots. The roots in your system below the ground uh, is working year-round, not just uh, in the summer and spring months. So they're constantly building a better plant. So we're feeding those roots, we're feeding the plant, so they can win the plant itself withstand the cold winter months. And we protect those roots because that is their main system and uh, with the mulch and we keep those fed and healthy. So that's one reason for that. A lot of people say, well, I've already put mulch down. What can I do? Uh, can I incorporate some of your compost there? Yes, sure you can. I would uh, put it on top, stir it in a little bit and uh, let her go and that works fine too. Another way a lot of people like to do it is put a light uh, layer of our compost down before they mulch, then mulch on top of it. That works well. I've seen people that actually took the wheelbarrow out and put a bag of this and, you know, a uh, part of our compost in, 25, 50%, mix it up and use that as a wheelbarrow through. So either one of those techniques will work fine. But the main thing is, it's just like your lawn. It's like any plant, your root system, without it, you have no plant. And that is what we really want to take care of. Now you say, okay, it's summertime right now, so I don't need to do mulching. 
actually, it's just as critical that we keep those roots cool in the 90, 95, 98, 100 degree weather days. And when it gets dry, we keep the moisture even and we keep the roots cooler. As it is in the winter, we would keep the moisture even and we keep them warmer. So, yes, it is. So, when is the best time to mulch? Well, the plants need it in the spring, they need it in the summer, they need it in the fall, they need it in the winter. So, my answer to you is either one of those times. Uh, one thing with mulching, it does help keep down on weeds. Um, and it does, again, keep that moisture retention even. By adding the cow manure, you're adding a feeding system to that, and it will take care of itself. Usually, I would say three to six months and uh, in the spring, summer, and then the winter, it should carry you through. If you put it down around October, you should be good to go till you get ready to do your spring mulching and fertilizing again. So uh, in mulches, remember this, the different types, there's cypress, uh, there is pine, there is hardwood, uh, there's colored mulch, there's rubber mulch. Rubber mulch to me, um, too much chemical for my use. Some people may like it. And uh, to me, uh, what I've seen put out, it uh, draws a lot of heat in the summertime, gets real cold in the winter. I like to stay with natural products. So um, again, at Daddy Pete's, we do not sell a color mulch, but we do sell or your mini nuggets. We sell the pine bark pines, pine bark mulch, hardwood mulch and our professional landscape mix which is a mulch and feed system in one bag so uh, if you want you get a chance just uh, jump on our uh, web page join us on our podcast you'll see that there on the front of it it's daddypeach.com and send in on that uh, join us send in a question we'd love to hear from you uh, while you're there join our email some good gardening tips that uh it's free to you. We send it out periodically. Uh, also, uh, if you have time, browse our products. The products I talked about will be on there, and we'll give you an idea of uh, some of the uses that you can use. Also, um, look at our About page. Uh, we're awful proud of uh, and thankful of how far we've come since 1907. We do thank you for listening today, and this is Melvin York with Gardening with Daddy Pete.